Arc aberration can be an absolute nightmare to start on. Spawning in straight away on the map, you are guaranteed to run into trouble no matter where you turn. So, here's 20 PvE base locations you can reach pretty quickly to get you the best start on this punishing map. Let's go. So if you're starting at the portal zone, which most people definitely will, this is perhaps the most easiest one to reach and quite a huge space bar a small caveat, which I'll explain in just a second. Pulling out, you can see an absolutely giant space here for you to build on and very, very easily blocked with only three behemoth gates. That's your one way in and out and does overlook the entirety of portal. Reaching it is simply by getting to this point on portal, coming through this gap here, and up this ramp round here, and there we go, there's the spot. Though, there is one little issue with this spot, that if you enter just beyond this area here, this wall here, you should enter into freezing spores, so you need to be very, very mindful about that. That is one issue with it, though, you know, could act as some defense if you really wanted to build here in PvP. Number two, again, very easy to reach from a portal. Here's the bridge, as you know. And there we go, two gates, and you've blocked off quite a giant sizable land here with a Z plant in the spot as well, if you need some seeds in your life to tame your first light pets. And water, very close nearby to get your irrigation going right next to one of the artifact caves right here for your glow tiles too. Nice spot to reach if you're looking to build somewhere in a hurry. If looking to spawn at the fertile zones, which is the other easy spawns, there's one obviously prominent location that most people will definitely want to go to. Look at it, you know what this is. You've seen this spot in ASE, now in ASA. A giant, nice square flat metal pillar overlooking the entirety of fertile lake very easy to reach you're normally spawn over in that area over there and you've simply got to just follow the ramp all the way up and round here to find yourself to this spot though if you're on a shared server i guarantee somebody has already probably taken this spot with plenty of scope to build out over there to the right and to the left a great spot a fan favorite certainly for pve and sometimes mega pvps but if you wanted to cross the pond and get somewhere a little bit closer there's a pretty sizable spot here that's not the flattest in the world with all these nubs around but definitely a flat enough spot right here for you to build on and you know with a bit of moving about you smart builders out there i'm sure you'll figure something out you can move yourself up onto this giant pillar here with three behemoth gates needed to block the way in and it is simply just access fire a ramp over there you should spawn over there somewhere run through here and you find your way up to this base location a bit more of a run from fertile lake though is manageable you just got to run up this ramp here you might run into a few ravagers and raptors as you head up the way if you go all the way to the top and round to the left you'll find a nice sizable spot here right here loads of space for at least a medium-sized tribe with only two behemoth gates needed to block the way in there is a few redwood trees about that kind of spoil it but perhaps you could put some platforms on those to make it a bit more fun although i'm not even sure if you can put platforms on these i haven't tried and weirdly from the ase version the zip lines that used to attach them to the other pillars aren't existing anymore so you are completely locked off remote on this island here and you've got plenty of crystal nearby should you need it but if you keep on following the ramp all the way around from that last base location run all the way up along here over this bridge and bear to the right you'll find a nicely cut off base location it's definitely a good size with a structure pre-built there an elevated area in the middle that you could possibly move to but plenty of space for most size tribes with a zip line a handy zip line attached if you need to get away in a hurry and a nice overlooking spot towards the entrance to blue on to the next one now and massive giant space for a decent sized tribe this is moving in from fertile lake basically hugging the left wall all the way around from this angle you're kind of heading towards one of the surface entrances 
And you can see there's an elevation there allowing you to only need to put down two behemoth gates, though there is a little gap here you're going to need to block off. But once done, you've got all of this giant space here for you to build on with a charge station accessible to you should you need to transfer on and off the map or get some element on the go or make some charge batteries. Plenty of space with the surface entrance very close nearby and access to blue down this route here. Speaking of the surface... You should build here. I've seen a lot of people build here, especially on ASE, with access to the surface all the way around here. But it's a great spot. It's nice and big. It's nice and open. It's still right by green. It's still nice and safe. You will need some way of getting up here, though. You might need to build a ramp just a bit here to make your way up. But it's a good spot. It's nice and high, elevated away from everything. And there's a gas vein right below you there. Plenty of metal nearby. And, of course obsidian on the surface and element or two and the next one is literally just around the corner as we're getting closer to blue because the closer to blue you are the more resources you have next to your base this one's not a bad size nice and flat needs two behemoth gates to block off plenty of space for you to definitely get a start in though you're gonna need to run this isn't right by the spawns you're gonna have to run all the way around here but once you're here and set up you certainly live in the dream and you're nicely elevated from any hostiles coming towards you with another one literally round the corner right here with another two behemoth gates needed to block it off just a bit bigger than the last one but again a decent sized spot with a Z plant in the middle of it should you need some Z seeds and blue right around the corner for you to dive into to get all of those precious metals that you know you're going to need and me and Dave built you once upon a time but if you want to be right on the edge of blue there's a spot just on the edge of green i don't think nameless spawn here especially with a charge station right here i think you should be absolutely fine absolutely safe there is certainly a few hostiles and you might have a bit of a nasty run trying to get to this ramp here to make your way all the way to this spot but one behemoth gate is all it really takes to lock you away into a fairly sizable spot plenty of scope for you to build in get some creatures on the go to get you off to a lovely start to brave the wonders beyond in the blue and with another spot literally just a stone's throw a bit smaller but definitely a worthy spot to consider same views same sights to see of bioluminescence i would be a bit more careful about ravagers jumping up this gap though i'm pretty sure that's elevated enough that you shouldn't have a worry and this all it needs is one behemoth gate to block off keeping you lovely and safe on this rock here again living close to blue is great because that is where all the metal is at it's all down there ready to take it though you don't want to be living building in the blue because well at least starting out anyway because nameless will be a real issue although there are plenty of cool platforms to move to should you wish to with one more ras clark recommended massive spot absolutely huge spot and not too far away from portal it's closer than you think needing only one singular behemoth gate to really block off okay you might need to fill in those gaps on the left and the right but gives you a giant space look at that and all you got to do is find your way follow the portal bridge just down here to this bend here follow it around here and you're there lovely giant base location adjoined by a metal structure and what a view overlooking the entirety of blue and the hazard it's all there waiting you could probably glide a suit your way down to getting a rock drake egg over there at the portal rings if you wish to but you've got plenty of scope there certainly for a good sizable base though just be mindful about the platform above it though i did check this the spawns all seem to be nice spawns so you shouldn't find any meanies falling into your base maybe consider blocking these off putting some spikes at the top but i didn't see any hostiles here so you should be okay and what a spot right lovely spot lovely views heading back in towards fertile now there's a real good spot here that does need one or two foundations and a few ceilings but that's all you need make a little bridge here and you've got access to this giant space that's all you need to get across creating a nice gap to keep enemies at bay and simply accessed via this giant platform here you can see a few giganta raptors down there it's really dense 
The trees are absolutely everywhere, so it's kind of hard to explain, show you the routine. But if I just follow it down through here, and if I just keep going this way, you might start knowing where we are. Remember that base location we showed before? Up there, there it is. We're just around the corner from Fertile there. And it's a big spot, as you can see. You've got a vine. You can go down if you want to go that way to the left. You've got room around here, all the way around the back. One behemoth gate off to the left is all it takes to block off that. You got a nice little cubby old cave here if you want to build your base there maybe keep yourself locked away there from any nasties and that's it massive spot to work with without a doubt and you know what i think i might be considering this as a base location without a doubt because if you wrap yourself around here it's just a ledge all the way around now i know there's yeelings not too far away and something to certainly be mindful of but once you've got a bridge across there You've got access to this entire network, motorway system, spaghetti network of elevated ledges with even more base locations now, and I'll show you a few of these now. So remembering that route, if you simply follow it all the way up here, round here, take this zip line here, over onto this platform, you've got a great base location. Nice and elevated, nicely hidden away, tucked away and shouldn't be any concern to anything as you're nice and high you've got a plant Z. you have got a tucked away ledge over here that you might want to consider blocking off it's not even a behemoth gates worth that's a dino gates worth but on the left side you're certainly going to want to do one and a half behemoth gates to block off that but again this all gives you access to other things a charge station around the corner a drop location right here as well and plenty of routes to other places high up including so if we follow that charge station from over there round this ledge here round over that bridge there and then do a 180 and move around to this bridge here you've got another decent spot here plenty of scope to work with there's a good sizable flat location here on the right to build a lovely base location. Decent size base spot, but moving over to the left, you can keep going. You can keep using all of this space here. It gets a bit bumpy around on this side, but plenty to work with and <laughs> overlooking the base location I just mentioned previously. But you can keep going round and round and round and round and round and round and round all the way to this tree to dominate this space lots to work with there and a zip line fine to get yourself across and from that base location over there you can just simply walk down here around here down this zip line to a seriously sizable spot allowing you to build over there there anywhere here this is one giant ledge that you can use and keep to yourself. There's no way up. You could build a way up. It wouldn't be too difficult to reach this end with a couple of ladders. But it's a massive spot to work from. Not too far away from Portal. It's just over there within reach. Very tucked away from everything, but certainly a worthy, safe location to get to to start yourself off on Aberration. And not too far away from this spot here, though, you're going to need to consider how you're going to elevate yourself if you can get up to here, you've got a great location with one behemoth gate blocking off this bridge. Though, to be honest, you don't really need to block off this bridge because there's no real way of access. It's purely a land's end ledge. But a sizable spot, plenty to work with, plenty to build in, plenty to see, plenty to do. Probably want to build your main base here, right near Fertile Lake, overlooking Fertile Lake if you really wanted to. You could move all the way up here and use any of these spots. Maybe even push your base all the way up there as well, right? Right up to this tippity top ledge right here. If you wanted to be tucked away on a ledge, you could move all the way up here with Fertile Lake right below you. Nicely tucked away. Nice and safe, which is what you want on this hostile map. Which from there pulls back to a route you may have taken, if you remember running around there from that very first bridge base location. This spot here, we overlooked. It is slightly elevated. You will need a way of getting up here. You could probably make a jump just from there to here. But once you're here, look at this. Giant spot, flat spot, nice and high. 
Hi is always good on aberration. Hoping that Yai Ling's won't be an issue. Zipline down to you if you need it. And a push all the way around here. You might want to perhaps build your base here. Have all of your dino storage over here. And a great spot, right? Overlooking some lovely crystals. And a route over here leading you towards Fertile Lake. And the 20th base location, because I accidentally miscounted, I'm going to put it to you. I'm going to show you a base location over here in the blue, though there's so many spots here elevated in the blue zone. The only issue is getting over here and starting here. Absolute nightmare for anybody starting on Aberration without a doubt. Nameless is going to be a big, big problem for you. You need constant charge light to keep things at bay. Speaking of that, though, there is a cave just here. I'm showing you right now, which I guess is kind of protected by a charge light and nicely tucked away. You can hide yourself in here in this cave. Lots of space to work with, though definitely a few behemoth gates needed to block off that spot and a giant plateau right above it right here to work towards as well. Perhaps you may dominate the entire space here. Wasn't intending to go on to blue because it's going to be a game for you. PVPers are probably laughing at this and I'm sure a lot of people will be scoffing at this, but it's a punishing start and you can certainly be creative with a lot of spaces on Aberration. There's one right here that I saw that the game crashed and then everything I built had gone to dust that you could move towards and gives you an overlook looking right down at Red Arb. Speaking of Red Arb, I mean, it's the hazard zone, right? Why on earth would you want to build down there? I hear there's spots you can build in that don't give you radiation poisoning. And admittedly, I've looked, I haven't found them. But you know what? This guide is all about how to start an aberration. This is about where you want to get to quick before you reach the latter game, the mid game, end game, and start taking on the big nasties down here in the deep. And I hope at least one of those have helped. But if you have a location in mind you think's better than these, please do comment below and let me know. Until the next one, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It as always, uh, peace out. Uh.